how to modify a full length Dollar Pro orthotic with a Morton's extension. A Morton's extension is used to restrict first MPJ, IPJ movement. Common lengths include short, crossing MPJ only, or long, crossing both the MPJ and IPJ. In this video, we will show you how to complete a long Morton's extension on a full length Dollar Pro orthotic. The addition requires three landmarks to create the base plate and extension shape. Have the patient stand on the orthotic and mark the landmarks in their weight bearing position. Step one, mark the lateral side of the base plate. This will commonly be just proximal to the fifth MPJ. Step two, mark the medial side of the base plate. This will commonly be just proximal to the first MPJ. Step three, mark the lateral side of the Morton's extension. This will be at ID 1 to 2 and represent the lateral border of the hallux. Step 4. Using a ruler, transpose the ID 1 to 2 mark to the top of the orthotic. Step 5. Transpose the three marks, the medial, the lateral and the top ID mark to the plantar surface of the orthotic. Step 6. Create the Morton's extension shape. Use a ruler to transpose the bisection of the medial and ID 1 to 2 mark, and then draw a vertical line from the top ID 1 to 2 mark to connect to your new mark. Step 7. Create the base plate shape. Following the metatarsal parabola, connect the lateral mark to the Morton's extension. You now have your Morton's extension marked as a guide. For this edition, you will need a marker pen, ruler, dollar tech plate sheet, tracing paper, glue, scissors, and grinder. First create a template for your Morton's extension. Transpose the shape of the Morton's extension onto tracing paper. Place the orthotic on the tracing paper and transpose the lateral and medial marks and the distal ID point of the extension. Trace around the orthotic to provide an outline. Place the tracing paper on the planar surface of the orthotic and align the lateral, medial and ID 1 to 2 points. The white lines of the extension can be clearly seen through the paper. Copy these lines to create the shape of your Morton's extension. Cut the tracing paper following the lines to create your template. Transpose the shape of the template onto the dollar tech sheet. Place the template on the sheet and trace around the outline. The tracing will include the heel shape, three quarter lateral border, anterior shell border, and full length medial border of the plate. Use a ruler to connect the extension to the anterior border to create your Morton's extension. Using scissors, cut the Dollar Tech plate following the template markings. At 0.8 millimeters thick, the Dollar Tech sheet is easily cut in clinic and is available in 40 centimeter by 12 centimeter pieces to fit the entire Dollar Pro size range. Double check the size of the Morton's extension against the orthotic. The flat planar surface of the Dollar Pro is designed to make the addition of planar modifications in clinic fast and easy. To aid in gluing, roughen the surface of the orthotic where the Dollar Tech plate will be adhered to. Start with grinding the Morton's extension and anterior border near your guideline, then connect to the heel. This roughened surface will improve the adhesion of the plate to the orthotic. To ensure you are gluing the correct surface of the Dollar Tech sheet, place the sheet on the orthotic and flip to expose the dorsal surface. Place a thin layer of glue on the dorsal surface and the plantar surface of the orthotic in the roughened area between the extension and the heel. Wait for both surfaces to be touched dry without any areas of wet glue before proceeding. Once dry, align the Dollar Tech plate with the markings and adhere the two surfaces together. Apply pressure over the entire surface to ensure adhesion. Once dry, complete a finishing grind of the lateral, posterior and medial borders and taper to follow the planar surface. Grind small sections at a time until you become comfortable and finish with a continuous grind for a smooth finish or use sandpaper. A Morton's extension addition is a heel to toe base plate ending proximal to the metatarsal heads 2 to 5 with an extension along the hallux. It extends under the first metatarsal head, crossing the MPJ, IPJ, to distal to the hallux apex. The extension matches the width of the hallux following the anatomical medial flare. 
A Morton's extension and dollar tech plate aims to restrict, reduce or brace the MPJ or IPJ function and should be used only where clinically indicated. It is used when normal function is not possible due to surgery, injury, advanced disease processes, joint degeneration or classification as helix rigidus. Care must be taken in the appropriate prescription of this orthotic shell modification and treatment directed testing is advised prior to prescription. Fit customizations can be performed on the entire Dollar Pro range. If you don't have a grinder, the Pro Fit and Pro Lite are popular low profile options. For the latest open access education and training, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And be sure to download our advanced customization manual at dollarorthotics.com. To access more of our videos, please follow the links and we look forward to supporting you in your clinical practice.